May is this afternoon already, guys. Goodness. This is ridiculous. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful... Well, today's Wednesday, guys. We only have three days left on 2022. What a year. What a year it has been. By the way, if you guys can hear me right now, uh, make sure a thumbs up for me. It's a thumbs up for uh, you guys can hear me. Hold on. Let me check my sound here. Okay, good. We have sound. My one of my microphone is broke, so I'm using my backup. Okay, my backup uh, microphone. These are my little repair mic. I think 2023. Okay, and uh, you're gonna. S uh, I'm planning on uh, upgrading my uh, audio and video equipment. So, so that is uh, that is the plan. Hold on, uh, William said, is that echo? Uh, how's that sound? Okay, we got Tom's there, we got William, Sinuk. Yeah. Okay, so again, it's gonna be ultimate grinder showdown. So select title, say. EK43 versus the blade grinder, folks, okay? So this is the blade grinder. I mean, most of you have this grinder at home. And not EK43, I mean, that's goodness. Not, you know, now a lot of people use it. Okay, mostly coffee shop uses it. So, this afternoon, uh, we are going to compare. Uh, I'm going to be using my coffee from a fellow subscription, Little Wave Coffee, 2022 Roaster of the Year. Okay, blueberry, lemonade, and peach as tasting notes. Uh, I'm going to be using my 13 gram dose. Uh, let's see here, using uh, April drip. And then, uh, comes to water wise, I'm using the uh, just regular filter water, okay? Because I want to compare, you know, apple and apple, apple to apple. So, so I could cheat, okay? I could cheat the blade grinder by uh, using the sifter, okay? So, sifter, what sifter does. Uh, you can take out all the big ones, okay? Big like borders, take it out. And also remove the fine as well. So you, you are going to use the right grind size. We're not going to do that, okay? This is ultimate showdown. So, so let's compare whatever, whatever I'm getting coffee from Blade Grinder and the whatever I get from EK43. And you know, even nice to have one of you are here so you can do the blind tasting for me, but Unfortunately, you have to take my word for it. Okay. Again, we are doing the simulcast with my our uh, Discord right now. So another simulcast. Actually, we do simulcast every day. Uh, if you guys want to join our Discord channel, just send me a quick email. Okay. I send you the link. Uh, free to join. Okay. You don't have to. It's gonna cost anything here. So. Okay. Let's get going. Um. Uh, make sure uh, thumbs up. Okay. You got 22 people watching. Five, uh, five thumbs up. So just make sure a thumbs up for this video. And uh, okay, let's brew some coffee. All right, here we go, guys. I'm very excited about this comparison here. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's start with, let's start with the blade grinder. It's gonna be take a little while to blade. Again, just the two blades on the bottom. We could joke, uh, you don't have to worry about alignment either. Okay, that's it. So let's do 13 gram. Goes right in, okay. Just like so. Make sure you shake it, okay. Make sure you're gonna do the parts as well. Parts, because you you want to grind uniform. Make sure shake it well. All right, let's. You know why it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Comes to grind quality. 
It's not too bad. Okay. You got some little bit of fine there, but yeah. All right. So that's the blade grinder. Let's check out EK43. Obviously, there's no comparison, okay? Obviously, there's no comparison there. I mean, it comes to grind quality, uniformity, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do side-by-side -side brewing. EK versus blade. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna wipe. We are doing the both April drip. Uh, comes the water tap. Uh, we set at 90, 94 Celsius there. All right. Okay, if you are just joining us. Oh, welcome to live streaming. All right. I think we're ready. I'm going to wait. I'm going to start with blade grinder. comes to retention wise it's pretty much zero because you can actually sweep e everything in there so yeah comes to retaining it it's not a big deal okay 12.9 gram all right I think the water is ready as well let's do EK43 I'll retain yep uh, also again very little retention. Uh, comes to recipe, it's going to be uh, consistent of a two pulls there. 30 gram circle pull and 70 gram uh, center pull. We're going to do that twice. Again, we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to wait about 35 seconds to bloom the, finish the blooming process. And then we're going to do the uh, repeat uh, phase again. 30 gram circle. There we go. Same as the uh, EK. Go up to 200. That's it. And it comes to brew time, I'm hoping it's going to be close enough. Okay, hopefully, we're going to be close enough. Brew time there. Um, I can see this is much coarser than EK43. So let's uh, let's find out about the brew time. Uh, what I'm looking for is how much the EK is better. Okay, how much better? Because we know, okay, blade is not the best, as you guys know. But we all recognize that EK43 is. They're pretty damn. That's really good grinder. 
So we are at two minute mark there. Yep, still brewing right now. EK is also brewing as well. <coughs> okay. I'm looking like I'm, I'm watching a paint dry here this morning, but. I mean, if you are watching this uh, after the fact, you know, just skip this section, okay? Skip this section. We are three minute mark so far. So far, you got three minute mark there. It's going to be close. So I'm figure about three minutes and thirty second balloon uh, uh, time there. Three minutes and thirty second. Yeah, just past three right now. I'm I'm hoping for around three thirty for the brew time. Getting very close, as you can see. It's going to be, uh, again, we are doing the 13 gram dose and the 200 gram. We're going to add 200 grams of water. And they usually retain about 30 grams of water inside the uh, filter. So uh, extraction should be around 170 grams. Yeah, it's about four minutes. Very similar time as you can see. Okay, 3.30 right now, 3.45. I'm gonna call it at 3.50 on blade grinder. I'm gonna call it at 3.50 as well for the EK43. All right. So let's try this cup. Okay, folks. Okay, hold on. Let's get the camera angle right. Again, if you're joining us for the first time for the live streaming, uh, welcome to my coffee desk. Okay, so this is my coffee desk. Uh, it's not a coffee studio. Definitely not a coffee bar there. So it's more like coffee desk. I'm gonna start with EK. Okay. Okay. So comes to comes to color wise is about the same. As you can see, very similar color. Let's do smell test. Hold on. I think I'm gonna use the. Okay, hold on a second. Let's smell test. Okay. So, blade grinder. Hmm. All right, let, let's do a taste. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Okay. A uh, hint of peach. Uh, where balance is uh, where balance there okay that's good all right let's go with so this is the blade grinder wow hold on hold on man hold on here we go I cannot believe this, guys. I have to say, man. You know, I, I mean, I wish you guys were here right now. Some of you, some of you, what I'm witnessing. Okay. More sweeter with the blade. All right, sweeter with the blade. Man. Definitely sweeter. Okay. I know why it's sweeter because the obviously I cannot go fine enough. All right, so extraction is definitely, if I'm gonna do TDS uh, test on it, definitely I'm gonna be gonna get the higher extraction from uh, EK, all right? 
y que has a lot more uh, has a more tasting notes but if you want something you know just good coffee obviously fresh uh, freshly grind coffee is you know fantastic it's kind of like it's kind of like tea okay kind of like good tea here if you drink this coffee right now you think you know you feel like drinking a tea with the EK43 obviously you're gonna have a, a lot more nuance okay which means different tasting notes uh, definitely clean and clear but the the fact is i mean if you are i mean if you're at home right if you're at home getting ready for work you only have like five ten minutes in the morning you want to make some good fresh coffee in a black grinder i mean if that's the only option you have that uh, that's not a bad option okay that's not a bad option uh comes to price okay comes to price i think i go with the blade grinder all right comes to price obviously if okay so linda asking me have you tried the say red honey uh definitely i i have not tried that but i'm gonna try that soon but i mean if you're a casual drinker okay we are talking about casual drinker uh i mean you don't need a fancy grinder okay let's put it out there if you're a casual drinker, you just want a coffee, caffeine fix in the morning, don't waste time on grinders. Just get yourself, you know, any kind of grinder is fine. If you're gonna spend 15 bucks, 20 bucks, that's okay. Just get the, you know, right coffee. Okay, just get the right coffee, get the right brewing method, you're gonna be fine. I mean, again, don't spend a lot of money on it. But if, okay, if, if you are playing on, you know, if you are into good overall experience, you want to go espresso, espressos to filter or French press, obviously you need to have a capable grinder. But if you want to do just a drip coffee in the morning, hey, you know, okay, uh, again, don't spend a lot of money on grinder there. Just use your, keep using your grinder, blade grinder, but better, uh, better brewing method does matter, okay? I mean, it does help. And also, good coffee. The good coffee is uh, key. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, you have a uh, Florent. So many. Uh, so any casual drinker shouldn't buy a four thousand grinder that you need realign <laughs> regularly. <laughs> casual drinker, yeah, you do not want to spend three or four thousand dollars on grinder. Okay. Yes, you shouldn't buy. You shouldn't buy $4,000 grinder, period. All right. Any, okay, hold on a second here. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's a Dogman 22. I hear Good Brothers has the SSP 80 millimeter on their pre-grind coffee. Hold on. Uh, also, you said Prima Coffee found the opposite. They prefer pre-grind EK versus Blade. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes and no, because uh, I'm, I'm talking to Steve from Steve used to work at Prima, okay? He's on our disco right now. We are doing the simulcast. Uh, he did tell me that, okay? After three days, okay? After three days, he prefer coffee from Blade. Is that right, Steve? I'm gonna ask him. Put him on the spot there. No, you can just look at the article. I'll send it to you. Okay, so he has the article. Blade grinder ever. Oh, he said Blade Grinder ever. But, okay, here's Big Butter. It's kind of like somewhat biased, right? Uh, the Prima Coffee, the, their staff are coffee, coffee people, okay? But if you are going to put the same test, the regular people are out there. I'm talking about regular people. Can you tell the difference, all right? Pre-ground versus the fresh roasted blade grinder. I don't know, I think I beg to differ, okay? I think I definitely, okay. Okay, so Encore, yep. So Encore was day four over EK43. Okay, so okay, that's and good. the Cuisinart, the Skirtin, and the Krupp's Blade Grinder 
Okay. Never tasted better in the first week. Oh, okay. So Steve actually correct me there. He said Blade was never better than uh, EK or Encore. But again, see here's one caveat. I mean, they are the coffee experts. They know they are coffee. I'm talking about regular people, okay, doing the exact same test. Man. I'll tell you. What? We, we tested that with folks in our office who are not like coffee connoisseurs or whatever. Oh. Uh, other people in the office. Gener a general taste test. Ah, okay, so hold on. A so, lot of those preferences align. Okay, so Steve, correct me again because he did that test with their, their general office employees. Okay, which means the regular people, I hope, you know, they're casual coffee drinker. But I mean, I'm testing right now. Okay, these two coffee. Okay, you know what? Since coffee is cooled down a little bit, uh, let's go back to blade grinder. Okay. Okay. There we go. The blade grinder is obviously is weak, okay? It's, it's a weak, weak. But, I mean, personally, taste is very subjective, folks. All right? A at this moment, man, just like drinking a nice tea for the uh, blade grinder, it's not, it's, there's not a lot of up and down, okay? It's pretty flat. Obviously, it can give you that more dynamic. But Black Rhinos is only $15, uh, $15. EK43 or even Encore, Bratz Encore is about what? A couple hundred bucks? So, I mean, you to decide, okay? I mean, which one is worth. But regular, regular coffee drinkers, man, I'm just, just stay with like a couple hundred dollar grinder, capable, a couple hundred dollar grinder should be fine. And uh, I mean, if you really wants to get into coffee, uh, we had a nice discussion earlier this morning with uh, Steve and a few other friends at Discord. How much, okay, how much for the perfectly aligned coffee grinder? Okay, there's no such thing right now. Okay, we, we are talking about uh, playing with the uh, P64 yesterday, talking about the alignment as well. Uh, he thinks that I think he might be right. Uh, you need to willing to spend about fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, he thinks that around fifteen thousand dollars. If you spend around fifteen grand, you're gonna get the perfectly online coffee grinder. Okay, let's okay let's put that in perspective. P sixty four is about uh, with extra birds. You are looking at just under two thousand dollars. Just under two grand. EK43 with upgraded birds, you are looking at 4,000. Guess what? I have to align this, okay, with aluminum foil. I gotta shim it. Uh, what else? Uh, even Cafetat Flat Max, it's not 100% aligned. They are looking at 4,500 bucks. What's out there? Even Titus, okay? Okay, even Titus uh, from Germany. It's about 10 grand. Uh, they are known for their hyper alignment. Again, so if you are looking for perfection, it's hard to find when it comes to grinders. Yeah, yeah, let me know in the comment section. I mean, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on it. You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts because once you start getting into this, fall down the rabbit hole with the grinder and birds, man. I fear for you, okay? Because I'm already there. It's not a fun place to be. Because we are always looking for something better all the time, but sometimes you have to face it. Hey, you know what? It's okay. Whatever grinder you have, just just enjoy. Uh, Aaron, so I'm convinced throwing uh, DF64 and fellow O in the trash can or ordering Blay. Thank you for the video. Uh, Aaron is pretty funny. Yes, uh, I mean O's are a great grinder. Okay, O's are fantastic for pour over, 
for sure. DF64, uh, you can do espresso. So yeah, I think Aaron, you have a great setup, buddy. Yeah, right, you have great setup there. And uh, uh, Ryan say, Dogman22 say, buy a nice hand grinder for filter and move on. I think he's right. Just buy a nice hand grinder, you can move on with, you know, something else. Okay, something else. So, anyway, uh, I hope uh, this video a little entertain you guys for the last 25 minutes. You guys are having a great morning. Uh, we, uh, we're going to have some fun, okay? We're going to have some fun coming days and coming weeks because, you know, making coffee should be fun, okay? I know some people really, I mean, it's really uh, kind of like, I, I don't want to say that word, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Darren says, sensory perception is very subjective. Okay, having been many blind tasting, what do you, Dr. Yep. Yeah. What, uh, let's say that do not go to the high end equipment. It is. I mean, it's definitely subjective. I mean, personally, I like very light coffee. All right. And Dogman say, I need GP6. Uh, if you don't know what GP6 is, GP6 is like uh, made by Easy Presso, the filter coffee only. They give you that very clean and clear taste. I, no, I don't think so, Ryan. Uh, Dogman22, I do not need another hand grinder there. Speaking of grinder, okay. Uh, I, I was playing an unboxing today, but uh, let's do that tomorrow, okay. Let's do that tomorrow. Uh, I just got a grinder from one company, one particular company. Uh, so let's do that tomorrow, okay. I'm very excited about this grinder because they are uh, affordable and small, small compact design. I think it fit on every corner on your house as well. So it should be, yeah, it should be good. Okay, folks, uh, I think we are, uh, I'll be back later today, okay? Uh, let's make some uh, espresso later, goodness. I mean, last couple of weeks, I've, I was really focused on the filter coffee, but let's give uh, attention to espresso. Let's do uh, make some good coffee. Let's do some latte later. Uh, try some different coffee too. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to see you guys next time.